Hello, and welcome to Kits Photography for this time. In this week's show, I'll be talking about vintage cameras. So stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Kits Photography. I'm Kit from Bremac Photography here in sunny South Australia. Welcome to my channel. Hello and welcome to the show. So this week, vintage cameras. Now I collect vintage cameras, I have done for quite some time. And when I say vintage, what I mean is basically pre-electric. So self-winding, you could argue is, okay, that's fine. Absolutely no automatic focus. And the ones I'm gonna talk about today are purely very much manual everything you have to put the film in. Some of them are you have to put a piece of slate film in, which is quite remarkable. So let's get started. So the first variety of camera I'm going to talk about today is the Box Brownie. Now the Brownie is actually a company that manufactures cameras, but it's sort of used in the same terminology as Hoover in the way that it means a vacuum, it means a camera of a box. So the first one is this one here. Now this was my dad's very first camera. It's very, very simple. You actually look through just here. You line this up like that. With the film inside, you wind the film with this little winder just here, like this. And you go click, and that takes the photograph. Now, the thing about these cameras, it looks very, very simple, but they take remarkably good photographs. I mean, tremendously good photographs. Even, I would argue, better than some high-end cameras today. Now, my grandfather, uh, he was the governor of the Northwest Frontier in India, and he took, during his career, about 50,000 or so photographs using a box brownie. Now, keeping in mind, they were on a big individual piece of slate film and he would have to dig a hole in the ground and cover himself with a, with a cloth or a blanket, basically, to develop the photographs while in the desert and things like that. But these are absolutely remarkable cameras. This one here, obviously, it's a bit old, it's a bit dirty, and really, I don't think there's much I can do with it at the moment. So the next camera I'm going to talk about is this one just here. This is a miniature version, essentially, of that last camera. This is, this is an actual box brownie. Now, again, you wind the film, you push the shutter, and it takes the photograph. These cameras are truly remarkable because they were a huge step forward in how cameras were manufactured and used. Now, if you have a look inside here, you can see how the film is wound in here and it all sits down in here and this is the mechanism inside here so essentially you can look through here the viewfinder again and when you do that you can basically see what you're taking now the next one is this one here now this is a 1960s pretty much maybe 1950s at a push camera here now you'll see how there's two viewfinders here so you can look through the first one or you can look to the second one and you can see what's in front of you it looks upside down because that's the way they used to work and you push the shutter release just down here this one just here the film in this one much easier just pops in there you don't have to pull the whole thing apart it's a much much easier to use camera you can see how technology stepped forward as it went but no these are these are great cameras these ones here and this one's in full working order too, which is really good because cameras like this generally don't, then they're not in working order much anymore. So the next one in my collection is a remarkable camera. It's this one just here. This is basically a brownie as well. It opens up like this. You pull that forward, push a little button on there, and whoop, there we go, it opens up. And you pull that out. 
and you've got yourself a camera. Now, this one's remarkable because you actually take the photograph by looking down here, and you take the photograph by flicking a little switch just there like that. The quality of these images are absolutely remarkable. It's such a simple idea. It packs up into such a small little bit of, of kit. Truly remarkable. I mean, this is a, this is a beautiful camera. It is one of my favorites because of the fact that it's so technical. When you think of the technology that goes into this, this is a fully manual camera, but is just as complicated as a digital camera from today, except for the fact that rather than having a computer program, it's all entirely manual, which is just astonishing as far as I'm concerned. Truly remarkable. Of course, with all these cameras, you're not actually looking down through the lens, you're looking through a viewfinder. And the viewfinders are very simple. They're all just simple mirror viewfinders like this one here. But what a beautiful camera this is. What a beautiful camera. Now the next one in my collection is this one just here. This is another beautiful camera. Just a box. But when you go like this, you've got yourself a remarkable camera. Now these ones, are truly remarkable and in fact this one here I think has probably got the best viewfinder. It opens up like this and you can actually look through it through the viewfinder just here. And even though everything's upside down, it's remarkably clear. I mean it's it's terribly terribly clear. You can focus it and I mean the technology involved with something like this is truly truly remarkable. I mean really it's the, the, it's just amazing technology, absolutely amazing technology. And finally, a very special one. This one here is what's called a Lioca. Now, not Leica, Lioca. This is the very first camera that actually had film that would wind onto the correct place. So this one here, you look through the viewfinder and you click and it just does it. You have to still turn it and it's actually still got a film inside it too, which is remarkable. I mean, this, this film wouldn't have been used since probably the 1960s, but it's still in there. And it's colour as well. This one takes colour photographs. This one even comes with its own light meter. Remarkable. This is an amazing camera. This is from the 1950s. And you can imagine somebody with this huge technology in the 1950s. This is, this is the Nikon D850 of its day truly remarkable and a beautiful camera. I only actually got this one in my collection just the other day and this was actually my dad's camera and my grandfather's before that. It's a beautiful, beautiful camera and it's in great condition which is fantastic. I'd love to be able to take photographs with it but at the same time I like to look at them as well. With all these cameras they all take great photographs but unless you've got a developing studio, a dark room, you're never going to be able to really get them developed, especially those older ones that come in a very large format, they're sort of this big, square like that. And uh, these though are fantastic. The lens on this is a Leica, so it's a Leica camera with a Leica lens, and it takes remarkably beautiful photographs. Well, this has been Kits Photography for this time. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my old vintage camera collection. If you have liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That's really, really important. And just to let you know, I've had over 100,000 views now, which is really great. So thank you everybody for sticking around with it. So until next time, I'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs>